Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. We're gonna be doing part two of a three part series with the classic Naked palettes. So this is the Naked 2. If I could open it. There we go. As you can see, this has been used not as much as the original OG Naked, but still used. So before getting on in, why don't you subscribe to my channel before you leave, hit that bell icon, get notified each and every time I drop a video. All right, let's get on in. Now, of course, as you know, with this challenge, I have been using only the brush that came with this palette. And of course, I'm in a hotel room because I am at a work conference as I look around for the things that I need. However, because I don't want to get the brush dirty, I am going to be using my own flat brush here that does need to be washed. Going in first with our base, we have the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 0.5. And the challenge to this is I don't have my really nice mirror like I do at home, so I'm having to use a little, <laughs> just a little mirror from a little compact. So this is somewhat challenging. All right, now that the eyes have the primer on it, we are gonna go in and we are going to set them. We are using the shade Foxy with that brush that the palette came with to set the eyes. Now back in the day, of course, when I used to do my makeup like this, I never used primer. I never set my eye look. How my eye looks turned out the way they did, which was halfway decent, I will never know. <laughs> It is definitely one of those wonders, you know, like the the seven world wonders. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like we did a lot of things back in the day that somehow it just worked and it did and nobody questioned it because it worked and yeah, like never using heat protectant on our hair. <laughs> oh, cringe. Please leave a comment if when you were in the 90s, early 2000s, if you ever used heat protectant because I bet you have the best hair ever now. All right, going in with the shade Tease. We're gonna put that, it's a more of a taupey brown. We're gonna put it right in the, the crease right here and blend it up a little bit. Whoa, lost an eyelash. He said, man overboard. That is what he said. I found a very, I found some really, funny pictures of me back in the day. So um, the rest of these shades are all, they're all shimmers. So this is gonna be interesting. All right, we're gonna go in with um, Snake Bite. <laughs> yeah, this palette is literally 90% shimmer shades. Even the black has shimmer to it. And we're just basically putting it over where we did tease. Next up, we're going to use the shade Busted and use this a little bit more down in this area. All right, we're gonna go in with the shade Booty Call. We're just gonna pop booty call a little bit underneath here, clean everything up a little bit. Of course, we're not doing brows because back in the day I did not do my brows. So last but not least, we're just gonna do a dip of black out, which is that black shimmer shade. Just smoke everything in just a little bit. All right, now we're gonna go in with a shimmer shade. Suspect, put it down on the lid right here. And just like this, because I did not really put anything on my bottom lashes ever, um, just mascara. But I think I will just pop a little bit of the tease just underneath just to 
give us some kind of depth going on here. All right, now I'm going to take a wet wipe just to clean things up a little bit. And of course I'm using the viewfinder for this one. All right, now we are all cleaned up. Actually, let's see what this look looks like. I think it's really pretty. It's definitely not a look that I would do now, but I'm actually liking it, which is surprising. Surprising considering the way I do my makeup now. <laughs> it's not with all shimmers, but. But yeah, I can actually see this, like it's really funny because there's pictures that hopefully the editors will post for you guys that I actually have my makeup done just like this <laughs> back in the day. And this is giving me back in the day vibes. We'll have to do a comparison of a side by side of how I look, how I've aged. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little makeup look, a walk down nostalgia lane with me. And I will pop back in, give a final thoughts. I'm gonna go to dinner, see how this holds up with primer nowadays. Sometimes palettes don't always do well with primers, especially the age of this palette. This was the original. I wonder if they actually have the dates stamped on the back of it or not. Let's see, I don't know. Sometimes they do have the the dates just like patent or whatever but no this one doesn't have it so but yeah we'll pop back in here in a little bit and have dinner and yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'll check back in with you guys later testing testing hey guys it's me again it is now uh almost 11 o'clock at night and so far i think that and i'm unfortunately i don't have my I don't have my lovely mirror to where I can somewhat look at you guys, but look at myself at the same time. So I'm looking in the viewfinder here, but it looks like the look held up well. I did not feel like it rubbed off on me. I did not feel that it, that it got cakey. I think it looks great. What do you guys think for being such an old palette? I think I think it looks good still. So I, I probably shouldn't be using it anymore because it is old. However, this was a fun look to do again, especially looking back at photos of myself and from the 2010s and realizing this is exactly how I did my makeup with the eye look, just not with the primer. I did not use primer. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys loved this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon, get notified each and every time that I upload a video. Follow me on all other socials, lots going on, different places, and who knows where I'm gonna be next time. Maybe in a hotel room, maybe not. <laughs> all right, guys, here comes the blooper reels. The naked palette, so, oh, I have it backwards. <laughs> As I look around for the things that I need. I dropped it. Ugh. Me too. Scratch apparently. And of course I'm using the viewfinder for this one. Oh, I think I just got a lash in my eye. Oh, I did. Oh. <laughs>